That was. What, 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 what? <laughs> the, 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 it's, it's very funny because uh, at some point they started talking about nature nurture, which is a cool topic. <laughs> but I thought they were very passionate about it, and then I couldn't say anything. I said, like, okay, you guys talk, you know. And um, that was not why it's. So one person then they was arguing for nurture and the other person was like, no, but I think this is inherent in making it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you know, it's not that you have to pick a team, you know, I'm the nurture team. No, I'm the nature team, you, oh, yeah, you, you know, yeah. they're, they're, they're interesting points, right, on this, on this kind of thing. But there I don't are know, I was never so though. keen towards the nature part, though. Like, I mean, I can imagine, like... I don't know, mentally. So, so what really like changed my perspective on the argument was like seeing um, my two younger siblings mm. who are like something like 12 and 14 years younger than me or something like that. Mm. And, and like I really saw how like my mom was like really raising them the exact same way, like both of them, and she was raising them the same way as like we were raised with my older brother. And just how radically different, right? Um, but I guess for uh, in their the case, like there is one element that's different, right? Like uh, so, so, so there's definitely uh, many elements that are different because diff- yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no two people who have in the, have the exact yeah. same circumstances, yeah, yeah. right? Like that's one of the like main arguments about like the whole um, nurture thing, I guess. Why right? is that they'll never have the same upbringing twice? Like there's no exact way to measure that. Like even when they do studies, like I don't know, like separate twins or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, like mm-hmm. like you'll you'll never or or you know like you'll never have the same circumstances. But just to see, like people of like who are like of the same parents, mm-hmm. right? Um, grow up in a like the same household under the same guiding principles of parenting uh-huh. and have so wildly different no, reactions no. to things and wildly different personalities and wildly different reactions to the same uh, cartoons, to the same songs, to the but same whatever. And uh, that is, yeah. the, that is, This is a field of studies. It's called twin studies. And so they basically... They have this huge database, I think, in Scandinavia, Sweden, or something like that, and then they 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 check, but but then they focus on specific uh, things. For example, alcoholism, you yeah. know, depression, and then they check, for example, uh, children who are raised together but but they they are adopted, uh, or or like identical twins raised in different families. And so they have these, uh, all these comparisons. Okay, so you have like identical twins, so they are genetically the same. And uh, how, how, how likely is that they will develop alcoholism even though they are being raised in different yeah. families? And then they kind of check the, the likelihood of that. And, and then depending on the, the trait, it's, it's very genetically uh, strongly driven, but, but other traits are not. Um, so, so there are things that are more or less. That that, that, that was my genetic. perception, right? That there's like a lot of things that are like very basic and go so far deep that like that. Um, so, so it was more like how. So my what my experience was with my my younger sibling was how like under the same circumstances, how radically different things can yeah, develop, right? Yeah. Um, even even with like when you're talking about people of like a similar genetic ma- of course like one of them is like a girl the other's a boy so that might also like, you know like so there's like lots yeah. of factors in the thing but it's just that like some things really are like somewhat like set in stone when you're born yeah or, or at least like not set in stone but like very heavily yeah. like like uh, influenced by yeah. by uh, by by things that happen before any influence ever touches you Right, yeah, like yeah. there's there's definitely a lot of a lot of attributes like that, and I think like depression and 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 you know um, the likelihood of substance of being attracted to like substance abuse yeah. or whatever. I think I think these are definitely such things. Um, uh, yeah. Do, do you want to say? It goes deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say like so. How I look at it is like you know. We don't even have to go about like any meta level, you know, explanation as to why experiences of two people, you know, are drastically different. Like it's even very physical. No two people have the same visual information about the same fucking object, right? Like it, you can really have like very different depending on like yeah, 
you know, your perspective definitely changes yeah. depending on how tall you are, how short you are. I, how, I, I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like, I, you're, I, I you're tell not people that I'm like a short guy, so like I spend most of my time looking up at fucking yeah. people, and there's no way that doesn't influence, right? Like, no, 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 uh, no, no, like absolutely. my perception yeah. of self, my 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 my, my yeah. perception of the world, like the like like. N- and, and you don't think about it, right? Like, you don't think of it as, yeah, like, this yeah, whatever difference. But there's no way, right, that physically holding your neck upwards whenever you're talking to someone does not have some psychological influence on, yeah. on, on And behavior. then imagine you're not yeah. hardwired. You're, like, your brain is so fucking plastic, right? And, like... Yeah, it, it is, but... but yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. So it's, like, so definitely there is, like, you know... Inherent traits you can have. I'm not denying that part of it. Yeah. Of course there is, and like you know, uh, it's just for me. It's like learn. Like you keep learning, and that's the whole. No, thing, right? t- like totally. But but that that's why I think this opposition nature nurture. Yeah, you don't need to. Pick uh, you, you don't. For you sure. don't. You don't make them an opposition. For example, um, humans have language. Mm-hmm. And, and there's a huge diversity, like a, a lot of language in the world and so on. And um, But the whole point is that humans have language, non-human primates do not have language. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, okay, there is something that happened in the evolution of humans that allowed us to, to develop uh, this, this form of communication that's very sophisticated. So, so uh, and we all share, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. all human beings share that, mm-hmm. that, that, that kind of minimum uh, en- engineering that allows us to to produce a diverse of language. So so yeah. and and of, of course you learn uh, and then you're a baby. Then if you you were born in Japan, you're gonna learn Japanese. Uh, and why? Not because it's in your genes. It's because the community exactly, yeah. speaks Japanese. Yeah, yeah. So 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 it's not about picking a side. But but of course, if you were a, a chimpanzee uh, being born in Japan, you're not gonna learn Japanese yeah, because yeah, yeah. you don't have the basic engineering. So but, so but but you but like. So even like like primates can like they have a concept of language. Like you can't teach primates to communicate um, in like sign language, or at least in some primitive form. What 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 primates will never do is they'll never like ask a question. They don't have theory of mind. They don't they don't they don't have the knowledge that others possess information that they don't. And I think like that's the reason why humans have language. Is because is because we develop theory of mind. We develop the because because yeah. you can teach a chimpanzee to communicate. You you you, you, you can't teach it to, to you 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 to, yeah to you know to no no they have, have that they, type yeah. of communication where where you can't get it to try to extract information from someone yeah. else because it doesn't have that 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 concept. And I think it's like that concept that develops first. And then, and that leads to like the need for complex language that that we have inside. Yeah, I don't know about that, but they had this project like uh, at the end of the seventies and and throughout the eighties, where they tried to teach uh, artificial sign language and other um, forms of communication through icons, like that they point to icons, like to chimpanzees. And uh, even if you compare it with babies, you know, like the. The, there's a dramatic difference between the, the kind of use that they make of those signs and the kind of uh, linguistic communication that a baby starts to learn. So, for example, um, you know, like uh, chimpanzees would mainly use that form of communication to get rewards, you know? And uh, so they, they use a sign that they learn now, ah, with these I can get an apple. But when a, when a baby points at something and says the name airplane, they don't want the airplane. You know, the airplane's just there. They want to get information about that airplane. So uh, chimpanzees never theory use communication again, right? to like it's like, like theory of mind, I think. I think it's, it's, I think it's a very crucial point. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Uh, I mean, there's a debate whether, whether then uh, which one is the one allowing the other. Like some people will say, well, you need the development of language to have theory of mind. Others will say, no, you you need theory of mind to have language. I don't know about that, but um, but it's well. I mean, on, on that debate, I'm actually more 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 on the side of I think like like la- language is, is is a product, not a cause. I think I think I think language is more of a product of of. Uh, of our cognitive capabilities and not 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 a you know like yeah. like I think I think our cognitive capabilities I think come first. That's just like my intuition on on the topic. Um, 
And I think this is because of like 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 first of all like the 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 variety in languages that developed and the yeah. the variety in the way of communication that developed and especially if you look at like some like ethnic languages right that use like completely different um, noise systems yeah. or whatever, uh, which to me would say that there was something that happened before, right? That 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 caused the need for language rather than language coming first, because I think then we'd see more commonality. In, 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 in the languages that we speak, which we don't. Like the languages we speak very so much, but the things we talk about are, 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 are very common, right? And that's why, that's why I think, like, as a musician, like, that's why I think, like, music is such a, like, connecting thing, because, because it goes back to something, like, very, very primal and very whatever. And, and, and even, like, uh, like, like, here in Hungary, you know, like, people love to listen to music that they don't understand, like the uh, the words they're saying but they know what it's about right like you know what the music is about even if you don't understand the words because the the, the emotion comes through and i think that like most of our like um we, we have a sort of cognitive language that is very universal other than our spoken language which is which is very specific to, to, to yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so that's just like my intuition on the subject. Yeah. But like, no, I'm no, not a yeah. cognitive scientist, so like, I could not like back this up. But uh, that's just what I feel based on my experience, like connecting. With no, no, I, I, and I won't discuss. Uh, I won't enter this debate. I, I just brought this up because there was a discussion about nature and nurture, yeah. and this just shows that you need some machinery, uh, whatever it is, that enables you to acquire something that's called language. And obviously, language has a huge diverse in the world all, all the language in the world and, and they can be as different as Hungarian and uh, you know and Portuguese like that there is a, a huge gap there but but obviously humans learn that chimpanzees don't whether this fear of mind or some other uh, machinery I, uh, doesn't matter but the, the, the whole point is that um, then, like, it's just not only nurture or only nature. You need both. And, uh, but, and the question for cognitive science is, is to understand what is this machinery that's allowing this diversity to happen. Yeah, but like, can I, I like, want to ask a question? Like, you guys, as like cognitive scientists, do you think that like there's a point where where uh, where like language is like a limiting factor? Um, because 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 like. There's obviously like a point, right, in like our human development where where our entire cognition, like our entire like conscious um, uh, uh, thought, all happens in language, and and at that point, like uh, like like um, you can only you, you can't have more complex thoughts than your language allows. Oh, but um, there are definitely studies on it. I forgot the precise. I don't know if you know. Like uh, it was in some northern countries like they have they live in igloos so they they have very different um terms mm -hmm. for certain things that we don't have mm -hmm. and they're con they conceptualize these things very differently from us yeah. right because yeah i mean i guess like def i mean uh, and again like i think that's a whole lot of another debate about like language shapes thought Shaping. Yeah, 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 yeah because i think yeah. i think for a lot of time like pe like people's thought was like um and I think this also comes from like uh, um, so. So I think a lot of this like uh, concept also comes from like the late eighteen hundreds, um, from like from like from like the English sort of uh, academy when it was like I don't know like like the, the superiority of language, right? Where people like oh, our language is superior. And and when therefore we think you know like a lot I think a lot of like uh, um, myths about this so come come from that period of time when when people were like 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 said oh our language is superior our language can express more our language has more words than your language right like the English language on paper has the most words of any language mm -hmm. um, and yeah. and this was also used used to like justify the fact that like that like uh, you know like in 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 a way like superiority. Right. This is something that people use to justify why, 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 why it's okay that we're ruling yeah. uh, three quarters of the world, yeah. um, and 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 I think now it's kind of turning around where where people instead of seeing like language as the ultimate like like developer of the mind, the ultimate expressive tool, people are also kind of looking at it as like a limit, right? Where 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 you can't I, you can't you can't 
intellectualize. You can't think of something you can't express in words because because mm. words that start to limit like what you can feel. And if you don't have words for something that 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 you think, then you won't even be able to express it. I, you won't even able be able to. I yeah. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical about that. I, I and I think that even this. So you, you, you're. So what you're seeing, I think, is a bit different. It's like, for example, I, I remember this study from this group in Netherlands, Max Planck, and then they would see, for example, you have some societies. I think in in uh, Oceania, like uh, where they do not have the terms left and, and right, right. So yeah. they they use specifically terms like absolute um, terms like north coordina- like yeah. coordinators yeah. and then they would have this experiment where you yeah. take one individual he's in a room and then you take him to another room that's completely identical and the whole thing is that identical but if you have a sense of north south you would see that the the room is flipped but if you're just following left and right you don't notice that actually you are in a different room. So, so uh, the, the individual was in one room, then he was like, uh, uh, like his eyes were uh, folded. Folded, is that the word? Blindfolded. Blindfolded. Yeah, yeah. And then he, he was taken to the other room, and then uh, individuals from the, that use north and south, they could detect, ah, well, I'm in a different room. And uh, individuals from our society, they would not notice because uh, from a left to right perspective, yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, oh, it's, it's identical. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so you have that kind of thing. But, but, but the I language shapes your perception on the world, yeah. To some extent, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like I don't think, you know, you have like 1984, then there was this idea that you have the regime uh, that's deleting uh, words from the vocabulary because then they couldn't think against the regime, for example. The, and this was pretty much based on this idea that the language is going to shape absolutely how you think about the world. And it's not so dramatic as that, but, but there's but it definitely does, an influence. Does, does, like, it might, might have and, an and, influence. And, 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 I, mean, I, mean, I mean, regardless of like where you are in the world, like you do see this where, where every, every political system right in the world uses language to, to, you know, to shape yeah. things uh, to, to their benefit. And, and it's, I agree, it's not like an absolute fact where like, where no, like it won't like complete dominate everything, but it does but work, right? Like like no, renaming things. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that's that's why we're like renaming things is so popular. Renaming public areas, renaming plus the whatever. whole discussion on political correctness. I guess is based. It's, it's it's more like a reverse engineering that you're doing, right? It's like we why is there a need to be politically yeah. correct as to eventually shape your thought differently like you know it's like okay you you keep using it people are not used to it but then yeah. bring it into your you know language so we thought we start normalizing this right yeah, so yeah, like yeah. in a sense yeah so, so yeah I no yes this, this yes but yeah. what i'm saying uh, for example i remember so there were all these studies with uh, creole language mm. so it's basically you have pidgin which is uh, this kind of technical way of communication you had slaves in this island yeah. and then slaves from different parts of the world and yeah. then they would uh, b- develop a technical language yeah. that would allow them to communicate but then you, they had children this, yeah. in these places yeah. and then these children started to develop a full-fledged language out of nothing mm-hmm. so it was not just that uh, the, there was this very limited uh, in vocabulary technical way of communication that exists in the air to the no no they took that and then they they, they just developed something completely new and, and, and very complex so what I'm trying to say is that if, if the words are not there it's not that you cannot think in terms no, no, of no, those no, no, words sure. you create the means yeah, 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 yeah. you know no, so no 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 sure I guess it's just it's just to say that it can limit and, you know... Yeah, in, in it has certain a, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Like, in yeah, the yeah, sense yeah. that, I mean, language is full of ideology, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and so, like, one story that was, like, really, um... Uh, like, changed the way I thought a, a lot about, like, um, how we think and and, and... and in terms of language was... I was, uh... So, so when I first started out playing, I was playing in Shoimad in a bar with with uh, with this with this dude who was a, a, a linguistics professor at Azda and and he was telling me that that there's some language in Papua New Guinea where they only have two words for colors 
Um, and at first, like you say that to someone, it's like, oh, this is like so weird, right? To have only two words for colors. But then, like, how many words do we like? And there's like this meme yeah. where like colors for guys, and it's like like five colors, right? Like it's like red, blue, th th and, and that's all there is. And for girls, it's like million fucking colors on the same spectrum. And then you realize that like, yeah, like color is a spectrum. And, and how many uh, words you attribute to that spectrum, like how many uh, it sections can vary you, a lot. It, it, yeah. it, it, it's completely arbitrary, right? So yeah. they have like like black and white, like what's dark and what's light. And if something's more light than it is dark, yeah. then it's that word. If it's more dark than it's light, it's the other word. Yeah. And, 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 and if you like would ask somebody to draw, to say, like put a, a color spectrum in front of them, and like tell them like, where does red start and end? No two people will draw that line, those two lines at the same place. Like, no two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and, and, and then it, like, turns out that there's also, like, a logical order in which uh, colors, just like there are languages that have words for the numbers 1, 2, 3, uh, but there's no language that has words for the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 5, but doesn't have a number for 4. Right? Mm. So, like, the, 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 the order in which the words for numbers yeah. appear in a language are very, very predictable and consequential. It turns out it's the same with colors. Yeah. Like I, I, I could, I couldn't say exactly how it is, but it turns yeah. out that like black and white appears in every language. And then there's languages with like I don't know, like maybe yeah. black and white and green, but yeah. but not you know not black and white and green. Or so so like like uh, ev like the 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 appearance of colors in languages are about as predictable as the appearance of numbers. In, 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 in how they show up mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. which again like to me kind of points to the fact that there's like uh, deeper factors influencing the language yeah, yeah, yeah. like absolutely like, and, and, is, and, 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 and and it's cognitive. more that like it's more that like yes that there's cognitive things behind and the lang language emerges from that and the way it can emerge can vary obviously like like very widely but there seems to be like some some deep, some very deeper need for language that is that is uh is is there like on a hardware level that 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 that, that, that on humans there's something on a hardware level that requires us to like be yeah. able to have language not just to communicate but to have actual language um, no, 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 for sure, yeah. and this is the reason why we see it only in humans and not in other exactly, animals, Exactly, right? yes, yeah, so, yeah. Sure. so that's the stand on, yeah, yeah, on yeah. N nature nurture, right? <laughs> you, don't, you don't abandon any of them, you just try to understand how they interact, yeah. how, what is this machinery, and uh, how, how does it allow... Even learning, you know, it's not that, you know, learning, learning doesn't happen in a vacuum, it's like... Um, you have a, a machinery that's gonna uh, dialogue with the environment and, and, and condition how you learn. So, and you want to understand how these learning mechanisms, because they're talking about mechanisms, how, how, how they work, just like you would do this with a computer or, you know, any kind of system, you try to understand how they do particular tasks. Yeah. Like the rules and etc. Wow, too much for a... For a Sunday evening. Yes. <laughs> for, for a Sunday afternoon podcast. Yeah. I don't know if there is still any audience there. I'm, I'm not sure if there ever was. Yeah, it's very funny. I, I, I kind of... But I think I, I don't think that's the point. What's the point? What, what is, the, I think, the point that we're... For, for, for that, the podcast. That's for another podcast. <laughs> no, 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 the point is that we're here and that we're having the conversation. Oh, no, no, among us, I get the point. I, well, I don't understand the podcast. No, 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 the podcast suggests that, like, this is a place where people fucking come and go and things happen. And, and, uh, no, and conversations know. happen and life happens. And, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's documenting that whatever oh. happens here. So, so even if this is, like, way the fuck out there... I think it's like it's like still something that that happens in Hoff House, right? Like you can come to Hoff House and you'll meet what you like. Anything can happen. I think that's the point of the co podcast and anything. People that, watch that, Big yeah. Brother and this kind of stuff. Maybe they they want to watch random people at the bar discussing things. I will. We're gonna get going, guys. Adios, podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you guys want me to hold it down, hold the mic down alone? I can do it. Yeah, okay. I can do it. You can see. Hello, everybody. It's um, <laughs> welcome to the Hopcast. Today, uh, 
It's me talking to myself. Wow, you really stuck at it. <laughs> hmm? you, you, you have a problem? No, no, I'm good. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. Hello, microphone. How are you doing? At least you don't judge me. Unlike Ouch. her. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her being super judgmental. Uh-huh. Don't appreciate it. Absolutely not. Yeah. I like to be that way, you know? <laughs> yeah, you can fuck off with him, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, go, go, fucking go. I don't care. I don't care. Just, just at least send, send, like, uh, 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 on your way out, like, send, send Joka in, so, so I at least have someone to properly talk to. Yeah. 